Chapter 2, The Custodians After such statement from the captain, we finalized the details and agreed on a departure date. That date turned out to be November 14th. His mysterious friend Flint as he called himself, he'd also join the team. My ship would be ready a month early. Those were days of great anxiety and little sleep. There was a lot to read and many meetings with the crew over this trip. We all fantasized about the most incredible adventures, but reality was about to surpass any possible fiction or imagination. On November 12th, only two days before leaving. Flint who was Butler's partner. He showed up at my house with another man, who appeared even more mysterious than him. He was all dressed in black and had a strange accent. He told me that it was urgent and I allowed them to come in. Fint had a briefcase that he laid upon a table, and when he opened it, there were several documents inside. He pulled out some kind of ancient manuscript, and he began to recite a piece of it. By order of great importance, hereby the desire of our lords, that the doors of knowledge be closed, to those who refuse to be part of our glorious path and granted liberties. The text continued for several lines, and by the end the so-called Regius poem. As soon as he finished reading, I said that it seemed as if he's doing some kind of initiation ritual. That's when Fint said. Exactly comrade, for those who did not pass this initiation, they're the marginalized. Rather, we are the marginalized. Fint. I yelled. Please explain, I don't understand anything. What does this text mean, and what does it have to do with our trip? Look. Fint said. I'm gonna explain this situation a bit. This manuscript belongs to the custodians. As we call them. They call themselves the Sun Gods. They found out about this trip through Butler. The High Spheres, the Elite, are now aware and it does not make them happy at all. This manuscript suggests that they will not allow anyone to leave these lands at their request. The situation couldn't get any worse. An adventure of which was already very risky due to the harsh temperatures, and anything that could already happen to us due to natural weather conditions. Now we have to add these unknown enemies. Who are the custodians? I asked. Fint thought about it for a while and his strange friend opened his mouth for the first time at all, interrupting. Saying that these custodians were not happy about our trip, and that this was the only thing they could tell me. Fint then suggested that I'd cancel it. That it wasn't worth risking our lives. He said it with a threatening tone. That was the moment I urged them to leave my house. His strange friend in black looked at me menacingly and they left. After a couple minutes I tried contacting Butler to ask him what was happening and to tell him of this visit. Butler never answered. Not that day, nor the following ones. I met with the team urgently to analyze on how to proceed with our trip. This plan was becoming dark and sinister. However an inner force pushed me to continue. The passage to other lands became more real, as well as more dangerous. We met with the entire team, and Butler was missing. No one had heard from him for weeks. He has vanished from the face of the earth. I told the crew about Fint and his mysterious friend that came to visit me that one time, I also told them about the ancient manuscript they read. Walter then commented saying that he had heard something about the custodians, but that he wasn't sure who they were or if it was some secret organization. The situation was not encouraging at all. Butler has disappeared. And the whole plan without him, seemed impossible to carry out, in addition to the risk that this seemed to entail against an unknown organization that was after us, without even having left the port. We made the decision to postpone the trip until we can find Captain Butler. We would try to find him at his house again the following day. As expected we could not find Butler, and the chance of our trip being a reality was being destroyed by the minute, alongside our worry for our captain. The crew also made contact with the members of the Navy and they also didn't know of his whereabouts. It seemed as if the Earth had swallowed him. November 14th arrived. The plan had already been cancelled. However someone knocked on my door that day, and to my complete surprise it was Captain Butler. He had provisions, maps, and everything necessary. He said to me as if nothing. It's time to go my comrade. 
I asked him repeatedly about where had he been, I also explained to him about the strange last two days the entire crew has had. He looked at me blankly, and said. It was to be expected, I had to hide for security and to safeguard the documents for the plan, especially this map. As I unfolded that exact map on my living room table. It was huge. There was land that I had never seen. Butler ordered me to gather the team and that we had to leave this very day. I asked him if he knew of the custodians. And he told me there was a lot he had to tell me. The story is not the one they tell us William. He said. The creators of the pyramids and another race called custodians, well they have no interest in us crossing the South Pole. He told me that they found out about our travel plan through Fint who had betrayed him. And so the trip had to be made today or we would never be able to do it. He also said that we'd have plenty of time later on to give me more details on all of this once we're on our way. I hurried to gather the team and once we were all together we left Charleston Harbor. We had a few stops along the way before making it to the frozen areas of the south. 